Hey everybody, it's Glenn back with another Clash Royale analysis video. We have CRL East going on right now, and I wanted to pull this game specifically, which happened this past week, weekend, featuring Lion versus Eastlaw. It was Icebo versus Hog, and it was one of those games where I know we all play Clash Royale, and there have been plenty of times where our opponent will do like a zap on our tower or like some little damage and it, that's all they do and then the rest is just spell cycle on the tower and you lose so that's why i wanted to highlight this game because even the pros have to deal with this situation so let's get uh into this game here we have line which is going to be using ice bow but um isla already brings out hog and i would never known if um Hog was popular uh, in the pro level because I don't remember seeing it much um, last year. It was, I think it was around, but I don't remember seeing it a lot. We have Esau dropping a barbarian barrel, and Line comes in with Knight, and Esau brings in Musketeer. So I talk about this in in previous games um, that I've analyzed, and the key is if you're playing and you're trying to move up in ladder, you're trying to get the legendary, the key is to figure out exactly what your opponent is running as fast as possible. So you know exactly how you counter it or how you play, um, the lineup that you have. It's clear after three, oh, after one card that, um, Esau's focus is hog. And then after three cards, it's it's very clear now that this is a hog cycle deck. I mean, it's not the the typical 2.6 hog that we see pretty much everywhere in in ladder. It's a 3.0, but it's it's pretty obvious that Esau is just going to cycle to get to hog as much as possible, and then try to wear him down and then go for the win with fireball or whatever the case is, uh, whatever spell works. Line. I mean, it. I know that he's running Ice because I've already watched this a few times trying to analyze this. But after two cards, it's tough to figure that out at that moment. So I'm wondering what it what Isla is is thinking as he is going through this game. Now, Lion uses Tornado, so that's probably a bigger hint that um, it is Ice Bow or Expo or some sort. With Skeletons coming out now, now it's really apparent that. This is an Expo deck. It's just a matter of when Expo is coming out. Line uses a, a really, really good rocket to stop that hog. I thought that was um, going to be some good damage to the tower. And that was not the case. <laughs> so we have this pause. We reset. Isla goes with a uh, barrel just to try to cycle through. Musketeer at the back. That was kind of uh, weird because you have um, Wizard up toward um, getting to the bridge. I would have thought that Esau would have tried to meet uh, meet this Ice Wizard right at earlier than earlier than normal. Maybe it's just understand that okay, um, Ice Wizard is not going to do much damage to the tower if he gets there. So let it happen. We'll have a full Musketeer going to the to the uh, to the bridge and then drop hog or whatever is going to be the case. But as that's happening, here comes Expo on the left. And Isla drops the bomb tower. Basically, it's just being a sacrifice to try to set up for the next uh, blocker, which is Knight coming there. Yeah, bring an earthquake and Knight meets Musketeer over here. Knight gets stopped here and the Expo does uh, damage to the tower. So just remember that with a minute and 20 to go, Expo does some damage to the tower. Nothing like major, nothing like, oh my gosh, I hate Expo. Expo for Expo needs to be um, erased just like heal. Um, nothing like that. It's just kind of a, a few shots on the tower. And as it turns out, that was pretty much the game. And, and I talked about, like I said in the beginning, you know, we all have those games where our opponent will do something very little to our princess tower. And then the rest is just spell cycle all the way to the finish. And that was the case. So don't feel bad. I mean, the pros, like I said, the pros deal with it. Here comes ice Wiz 
to, I guess if if it was possible, he was going to try to um, run Expo at the bridge. But I don't remember that happening the rest of the game. Here comes Hog. And you would think something happened, but no. That tornado was perfectly, perfectly positioned. Expo here. As, when I thought, when I saw this initially, I thought Hog was going to go after the Expo, but it didn't. It went right after uh, the King Tower. So we have the King Tower activation, which is really key here because if Hog somehow makes it back to the Princess Tower, we have King who can deal with it. And you can keep um, cycling tornado onto um, uh, over to the king tower so here comes musketeer being played a little bit closer knight is going to answer this uh expo here here comes hog again and this was really the play of the game instead of tornadoing to the to the king tower they tornadoed everybody to the center kept everybody away kept it away from the expo where expo can do some damage to everybody, Ice Wiz is safe and healthy. That, I think, yeah, that was the play of the game. And then here come the Rockets. There's one. Here comes Hog. They're trying to take advantage of uh, the Elixir count, but Tesla's there. Ice Wiz slows down. Hog gets nothing on the tower. That that was That had to be soul crushing right there. You think you had an opportunity, and that was not the case. Expo here as playing as defense again. I don't think I can, I don't remember Expo being played up at the bridge or the river any other time than the beginning, just to get those initial shots in. And then that one that one period where line was in a deficit that was gone because now that's the second rocket. Here comes Knight. They're trying to mix it. Um, Isla's trying to go to the left now, but Tesla's right there in the center. And you would think Hawk gets in. Nope. Goes right at the, <laughs> the King Tower. And both princesses and the king are attacking that. Nothing happening over here. And really now it's about it, it's about can Hog get to the tower because Lion has a rocket. That's really what it is. So here comes another Hog. Ice Wiz is right there in the center. Another tornado to the center. You think this is the top team for Hog? Nope. <laughs> Does not get in. Another rocket. And I, I, at this point, I'm thinking this has to be. I, yeah, you're hoping that you kind of catch them off cycle. Esau's probably hoping that he catches them off cycle. Just to get the one opportunity to get to the Princess Tower and do something. Or maybe Musketeer sneaks in. Like if you look at... I'm, I'm going to re rewind this for uh, a brief moment. You see right here, Musketeer's right here in the back. You would think if she could just get away from targeting this knight right here. I know she probably goes after the the Tesla. But even still, Hog is right there closer. So Tesla's not going to go after um, Musketeer. Tesla's going to go after Hog. So in that opportunity, you would hope that Musketeer could get a shot on the tower, or you also have Ice Wiz too. That so that's a that's a unfortunate. But this is actually really good um, set up by line here. Prevents any opportunity from getting to the tower. If Musketeer has to deal, with, Musketeer has to deal with Knight. If not, she's going to go after the Tesla, and then all of a sudden she's slowed down because of Ice Wiz, and the fourth. The fourth opportunity is then the Princess Tower. But by then, we're talking about already having five, six Elixir to bring in skeletons to stop them. You can bring in a tornado log or whatever the case is. This is a really good setup by line to just stop it and then get to a point where you can use another rocket. Is that an opportunity for Hog? Nope. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> It looked like it looked like he got a shot there, but still, Hog has to deal with Tesla. Here comes another rocket and log, and that's game. So, we all deal with these games where, again, our opponent will do a very 
very, very slight <laughs> damage to the tower with a troop or a building. And then all of a sudden, it's just spell cycles all the way to the end. I'm going to fast forward to the stats page here to see uh, exactly what it is. But uh, it was... Uh, oh, they, they had the replay, too, which I think they talked about the play of the game, which is the same thing I brought up here. This this play to bring everybody to the center initially, or with um, 30 seconds left in regulation, brought everybody to the center. They stopped that. And then another tornado... The second tornado that forced Hog to the center went to the King Tower. And then it was just uh, just a matter of time. Rocket cycle all the way with Log, and then that's, that's the game. So here are the stats from the game. 11 Hogs run. You'd think, like, most of us would, would, have to, would face 11 Hogs and... Our tower, both tower, two towers are down <laughs> because of it. But uh, Esau was just unfortunate, wasn't able to get uh, a single tower down. Meanwhile, four expos used by line, and only one was played right at, at the river, at the bridge. And that was it. I mean, it, it, was, it was pretty amazing. So, like I said, in this, it, it, in this game, it's really a highlight of... You know, we all go through these games where our opponent will do nothing and just spell cycle. You may think it just happens to you, but as you can see here, it happens to uh, the best of the best of uh, the pros as well. So I'm going to end the video right here. This was a great, um, this was a great game uh, between these two uh, overall, um, and I hope to see more of uh, more of this. I mean, really good play by uh, by the pros. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. Uh, wherever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.